There are multiple ways to update a classic flarm and in this video we're going to show you how to do it with and without an SD card and we're going to show you where to find the update files. So classic flarms include all of the older style flarms. This one's an LXNav flarm mouse. Uh, they also used to make something called a red box um, and a Swiss, what we call a Swiss flarm, which is something that looks like this, red and black, might have a rose display on the front rather than this one. And those follow a slightly different procedure. Those ones that have an SD card slot, I'll show you how to do now. All of the classic flarm devices, you want to start on the flarm website, support and downloads, and then scroll down and here is where you search Classic Flam. And you can see it's come up straight away, Classic Flam Firmware 7.25. And this shows you all of the devices that, that's included, uh, that's covered by this firmware. We'll download that there. And then we'll copy this file onto a blank SD card. We'll eject that SD card. And then we're good to go. And just like the power flams, you'll want to insert the SD card while the, while the flam's turned off. And then all you've got to do is boot up the flam. Again, leave it for five minutes. Uh, you'll probably see on your flam display that it's doing a firmware update. It might also start up downloading all the IGC files. So leave it for five minutes, wait until everything starts flashing green, and then you're ready, you're updated. Some older types of classic flam don't have an SD card slot such as this one. In that case, you need a cable uh, called a flam firmware update cable. We can supply these, so you can find them on our website. Uh, and they'll be linked down below. So we plug the USB to serial adapter into the USB port on the computer. Flam update cable needs to go into the power data port on your Flam device. Now this one's got an 8-pin connector, so I'm going to use an adapter from a 6-pin to an 8-pin. So I'm just going to use a standard splitter, but any Flam splitter would work in this case. In this in this smart one, you need the RXTX ports. And then you can plug in that directly into the flam. And then you need the 12 volt battery. And I strongly recommend you to always use the fused power supply. So this has just got a very simple inline fuse on the positive, positive side. And you'll see that our flam's booted up, lights coming on. You'll see I've got the flam antenna plugged in and the GPS antenna plugged in. And then we can go to our computer. On the same section of the flam website, when we search classic flam, so this is flam tool with firmware 7.25, we'll download that. And this has downloaded an executable file. So this is a program that we can run and install on the computer. We'll click more info and then run anyway because we trust Flarm. Prove that, and then we'll download the program. And at the end, you can see it's, it's ready to go. Run Flarm tool, and we'll press finish, and Flarm tool boots up. And then if we go to file and Flarm tool settings, we just need to make sure the correct COM port is set, and then press OK. And you can see this message at the bottom, COM3, waiting for flam and we'll just give that a minute as the flam boots up the computer will then be able to see it and then i'll show you how to do the update okay so the computer's now seen it you'll see it gives you this message you can just skip this message and cancel and immediately you can see it's come up saying new software version available you can then press next accept the terms and conditions and then it will start the firmware update while that's doing that, you can also use this Flam tool software with any classic Flam, even if you've got one with an SD card slot and the SD card slot has failed or the SD card read has failed, you can still use Flam tool. Uh, and you can use Flam tool as well to upload an obstacle database file. 
and configure the flarm. The device has been successfully updated, so we can press finish. The flarm's now rebooted. But at this point, we can unplug it and we're good to go. In this video, we've shown you how to update your classic flarm. If you need any more help doing this, we've got a step-by-step -step guide on our website. Just check out our Navboys hub. While you're on the website, if you're thinking of upgrading your classic flarm to the latest power flarm, then you can check out our latest deals there. And lastly, if you need any help updating your power flarm, then check out our YouTube video for this here. Cheers.